Howdy everybody in YouTube land. Um, I have everything hooked up now. What I did was I tapped off the USB to serial, unhooked it from the keypad microcontroller and moved it over to here. Um, that is the actual in-circuit programming header, but since on the Atmega 128, the SPI programming shares the same pins as the UART, so that makes a good tap point. So I have that hooked up. I have the digit hooked up, and I have the uh, original code from my earlier scoreboard running on this driver. So there's the brightness, like I got set about about max, because it's not a very good PWM circuit, but it does work. Um, there's a subroutine fixed. I had to fix a bunch of different bugs to match those the way these are lined out. And there's the 808400 digital pot uh, code. So anyway, now that's running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send a initialization packet. And I'm going to go ahead and go through and test all of the ports. So here we go. Told you this thing was bright. so bright it just washes up and ooh, look at that effect. Beam me up, Scotty. Alright, next. Move to the next port. Click. Yep, that one appears to be good. So, I'm going to go through all of those, make sure they're good, yep, that one's good, that one's good, yep, that one's good, that one's good, okay, good, 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 perfect. Good. And the final. Okay, so this one will test different because those are going to go to squares to indicate your period and all that stuff. So, yep, good. Perfect. So, I'm going to hook back down to here. Nice thing about this is, is if you look, to be compatible with my keypad, I'm sending fully in binary. So in order to work with the computer software, I actually have to change back to text mode. So to do that, I fix the flag there, compile the program, and send it via bootloader. All right, now I should be able to go to the scoreboard program and run my old scoreboard program. Initializing main scoreboard. Yep, there we go. So everything is good now. So once it finishes initializing, it should go to the main screen, and it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the clock for 15 minutes. So Set the clock, 15 minutes, we start the clock. So we're good. So not only is it compatible with the keypad, just by the flip of a, a bit in a Boolean variable, it's also compatible with the PC software. So we're good. Thank you for watching.